needs to be stopped immediately. Welcome back to another video. My name is Alizea and I'm your favorite black transsexual. Get up into the big pair or whatever. <laughs> you guys, it's another day, but you already know, girl. You already seen the little clip or whatever, girl. We're finna get real controversial. And I just want to leave a fair warning that this video very much is gonna get wild. This video is very much gonna get, you know, crazy. And I am a black, beautiful trans woman, and I'm not gonna hold my tongue unless I get demonetized. So yeah, stream Nicki Minaj. Before we get into today's video, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe because you will never find another black transsexual like me. Hello, hello, hello. I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. You already know. Get up into the big prayer or whatever. You go ahead and lock in on my soul. <laughs> so, girl, if you don't know who Lily Tony is, girl, I'm finna insert some clips of, you know, Miss Lily Tony and her controversial ways. Girl, let's get up into the big prayer. Trans women getting pregnant is not as far off as you'd think. In the past 10 years, 50 babies have been born from a uterus transplant. How this works is a person with a damaged or missing uterus gets a new uterus. I was wondering if there's a manager I could talk to about something that happened. Yeah, I, I was called sir. When a kid tells you that they're transgender, believe them. A lot of people will say that it's impossible for a four-year-old. Why is it always people that don't have kids that are speaking for children? I'm trans and I've been a stepmother for the last two years. He's five now and has no idea that I'm transgender. He's not ready for that conversation, and we don't plan on telling him for a very long time. Girl, so Miss Lily Tony, you know, I don't know where she came from, but girl, she is struck in ways. Girl, she is hitting the headlines, girl. She is all over the place, girl. She is giving Miss Press runs. No tea, no shade. I need a lot of people to understand that, you know, I have no issue with a lot of trans people. I love trans people. I, I will always ride or die for trans people. Just like I love black people, I will always ride or die for black people unless you're controversial to the point where I cannot support you anymore. I feel like a lot of trans people of this skin complexion, and, you know, this might hurt a lot of people's feelings and this might you know offend a lot of people but I absolutely don't care because a lot of this needs to get talked about a lot of trans women of this skin complexion thinks they're above people and to think that they're above the trans community you gotta understand you gotta remember where you came from and I feel like Lily Tony has been so controversial lately I'm not gonna get off track I'm gonna try my hardest to stay on track but Miss Lily Tony you know she sits over here and she acts a fool and I mean when she acts a fool she acts a fool I tell every single trans person that you know sits over here and watches me or I tell every trans person or any gay person that i meet if somebody's sitting here misgendering your pronouns yes you can sit here you know always you know correct them but if they constantly do it you can either a you know move on or b you can either you know go off do your big one but you got to understand everything has a consequence to it you get what i mean and i feel like miss lily tony she got to understand that i'm not gonna hold you this is a prime example of what rushing your transition looks like, like I was not expecting to get this phone call today. They called me up and they said, hey, your bottom surgery date is on this day. You good with that? I said, yes. And they said, okay, here's like three more, three or four more appointments in between now and then to get you ready. I was like, okay. And then now I'm getting it. But like, uh, Lily's honey. He been getting on my nerves bad, like real bad lately because like, you know, lately I've been seeing clips of Lily Tony, you know, going to restaurants, you know, sitting over here, you know, getting mad because people are misgendering them. Uh, yes, please. And, uh, oh, just so you know, uh, are, are you my server? Yes. My pronouns yes. are she, her. Okay. Sorry, it's all good for me. <laughs> I, I, I understand the whole thing, but it's, it's complicated sometimes because I just, I want to say, ma'am, but she is, you know what I mean? It's. It's hard because over here he might be, he might, she might be they or something, you know, they have a different, but man, I have no problem. I'm going to go up here and say, just go Okay. If you want, I can, I can help. Okay, we'll talk. Okay. I mean, it's just, all I'm getting at is it's just, you, one should not expect that one, even though he's San Franciscan and liberal and open, will know all that because I'm a little bit older and I don't have a lot of friends, so I'm not always saying she, he, they, whatever. But that's all I'm saying. You know I mean? Okay. It's just a little bit complicated. It's not in a sense, but it, you know, like you, you, you want me to say man or she. Yeah, that's no problem. I mean, I, I have no problem, but there are a lot of. Anyway, regular orders. One thing is that. 
and I'm not one to talk on anybody's looks because like I said anybody following me you are beautiful but there's a point in your transition you got to realize am I up to par do I give fish do I give cunt you got to remember this you got to keep this in your head and not everybody's going to sit here and respect your pronouns also you guys got to remember you're literally at the start of your transition you're going to be sitting over here looking like a butch queen with a wig on and that's just the sad truth but once you start to realize and once you start to really get deep into your transition you start to develop you to start to develop as a trans person you start to you know you know learn how to do your hair learn how to you know do makeup and stuff like that this girl has literally only been trans for nearly six, seven, eight, maybe a year. How do you have, how are you getting the bottom surgery that fast? That blows my mind. Like, I wouldn't even be mentally prepared to get that surgery yet. Like, what? Oh, my God. I feel like Lily Tony just expects everybody to conform with her idea of, you know, her transition and everybody should respect my pronouns. And if nobody respects my pronouns, they're transphobic. That's not how the real world works. And this is the main reason why a lot of people don't take trans people serious. And it irritates my soul. And I mean it. Next caller. With Lily Tony, you know, at first I was like, okay, this is just another trans person, you know, who came out 50 years um old, you know, wants to sit over here and, you know, finally come out as trans. I'm all for, you know, you doing what you want to do yolo i don't care you're not in my shoes and i'm not in your shoes you get what i mean but where i drew the line is you know this clip of lily tony sitting over here you know saying the r slur time nigger nugget ugh. uh ugh. nugget <laughs> I was absolutely blown and you know a lot of people would sit over here and look over that and be like oh you know maybe she didn't mean to say that or you know maybe you know but I say blossy stop making excuses for people I tell everybody this stop making excuses for people people will show you their true colors only once and you need to believe them and I'm so sick and tired of people sitting over here letting things like this slide you will let a lot of trans people of this skin complexion slide and keep having platforms I don't understand but the minute I come over here and say something about you know the orange man or the cripple man girl i'm deleted and i'm demonetized it's crazy it, it blows my mind and y'all sit over here and y'all allow this type of content y'all allow these people to sit over here and be the face of the trans community there are so many more trans people on this earth and there's so many more trans people that deserve platforms and that deserve the recognition that these people are getting they're not getting not one ounce of it and it irritates my soul because y'all guys you guys got to understand People like this do not need to be the face of the trans community, and I begin on it begin on my nerves. Let's not even forget that you know she's doing all this just to rage bait. All this content that she's doing, her whole platform is rage baiting. Her fan base is rage baiters. They're only following her because she's the troll. She's doing this just to be a troll. And I guarantee you nine times out of ten, when she finally gets that bottom surgery, she's going to have so many complications. She's going to have so many things going wrong. And everybody's going to be in the comment section trolling her because she's a troll. You need to sit here and take your transition seriously. And this is what I be telling every trans person. Take your transition seriously and really get to know yourself before you sit over here and do these things to yourself that are going to alter your body and alter your mind for the rest of your life but a lot of people don't want to listen to me a lot of people think that i'm crazy oh well you're gonna figure out stream Nicki minaj Lily Tony's becoming more and more popular and a lot of more people are thinking that every trans person acts like that. If you are not trans watching this, not every trans person acts like Lily Tony. Not every trans person wants to sit over here and, you know, peek under stalls. What, what you got going on in this stall? What you got going on in this girl's restroom? I don't care about you and your private parts and I don't care about you what you got going on in this bathroom. And not a lot of us in this um, community cares about you. If we're going to be for real, trans people nine times out of ten are not attracted to you know, biological women. I'm not attracted to you and i would never be attracted to a biological woman i'm attracted to biological males i like you know princess i'm not princess wands you know king cobras i like king cobras let me rephrase that girl no tea no shade i'm not attracted to femininity and i feel like a lot of us aren't and i feel like a lot of trans women are put in this um category as you know man you know um a cross dresser and this is another thing that i want to say like a lot of you know trans women of this skin complexion and not even just this skin complexion a lot of trans women on tiktok let me just bring the tiktok training um trans people up here um a lot of trans people from tiktok want a lot of people to transition like medically you guys gotta understand that you know hormones are very expensive if you're not on health care those things can run you some bills and i'm not talking about no little cute 100 200 dollars 
no you're gonna be paying some money and y'all be like well there's ways to get on hormones for free you can do this you can do that i would rather go to a doctor who actually knows what he's doing and actually you know can give me the right prescription and the right you know medication and give me the right amount i don't want to sit over here and you know mess myself up and mess my body up i don't want to go the cheap route i want to go the right route you get what i mean i don't care if it's pricey i want to make sure everything goes good to where it needs to be so i can make sure i'm good you get what i mean and you know, a lot of trans women have been cutting corners, been sitting over here trying to live this lavish lifestyle. I want a lot of people to understand, stop living for these trends. And I feel like that's the problem with this trans community now. A lot of people are living for these trends. And just literally, Tony is sitting over here promoting and saying that she's going to get her princess wand cut off. And, you know, she's sitting up over here for, you know, mommy milkers and stuff like that. I cannot stand, and this might offend a lot of people when I say this, I cannot stand when trans people who barely came out, who had barely lived in their trans transition and lived on this trans journey for under a year already getting on hormones already getting these surgeries you guys gotta understand oh my god and i don't mean to offend nobody you, you know what i don't care if i'm offending people i'm gonna start you know getting rude i don't care like it irritates my soul when y'all sit over here and act like this and y'all do these things because i'm all for pro surgery i'm all for doing things that make you happy but you guys gotta understand there are consequences with the things that you're doing and a lot of women you know trans women who get you know their princess wand cuts off you know cut off they have complications you're promoting complications you're promoting this horrible horrible thing this is a letter to young transitioners if you are about to transition especially if you are underage please listen to this first of all you cannot change your sex take it from someone who has tried you cannot there is no such thing as trans periods women trans women do not experience any of those symptoms you won't grow a dick when you start tea you won't grow mammary glands or ovaries or a uterus on estrogen you will have to be on hormone replacement therapy for the rest of your life no matter how this goes whether you remain transitioned or not to stay on your path the side effects are severe I feel like only detransitioners really talk about the harmful and irreversible effects of cross-sex hormones, but the side effects affect trans people who don't detransition as well. There are irreversible mental, physical, and emotional changes, most of which are permanent and more severe the younger treatments are started and the longer you undergo them. Some of these side effects include being permanently misshapen by muscle and fat redistribution, which causes disproportionate features. This literally means being the wrong shape forever, and being disproportionate causes clumsiness and even chronic pain, and beca because your original frame might not be able to support the new distribution of muscle and fat. There is no treatment for this. Another severe side effect is infertility. I didn't care about this until it was too late. I was swindled by the idea that it didn't matter or that I could freeze my eggs, a mere $150,000, and now I might not be able to have my own children, severely limiting my dating pool and my future altogether. On top of losing your fertility, your sex drive will change with hormones, and that's not even mentioning surgery. It might become crazy or it might go away completely, but it will be unstable. Sex will be different forever as well. If you are FTM, it will hurt badly. You won't be able to self-lubricate. Your enlarged clit will be too sensitive and painful to touch, and eventually atrophy won't allow for penetration. You will never get off of the conveyor belt. It will keep going and going, and more of you will be mutilated and chopped off and incinerated until the old you is gone, and you still have to deal with all your original problems and traumas. This is just, just in a different body that isn't functional anymore. <sighs> Transition is not a cure for puberty. It's not a cure for feeling bad about yourself. No child is born in the wrong body. Permanently medically altering your body won't bring you peace or euphoria. What do you want to confess today? So my confession is that I kind of regret having a sex change. Uh, I think that had I known back in the day or 10 years from now, it's not that, I'm not that old, but you know, if I would have known at that time that my body was enough and that I could just be me in order to live my truth and not care about just the conditioning of society and you know, all these just heteronormatives of what comes with the nature of being trans, I would have just, you know, kept the body I have, but it is what it is, but yeah. What message do you want to share to maybe younger youth going through the same thing? 
do your research. I think it's very important to do your research. Really um, talk to a therapist. It has officially been over a week since I got bottom surgery for the fourth time. And a lot of people want to know why I got surgery on my cooter cat four times. So get ready with me while I tell you the story of how I got here. So if you don't already know the basics, my name is Zaya. I'm 22 years old and I'm a transgender woman. Over two years ago now, I got male to female bottom surgery. Basically what that means is the hot dog I was born with got turned into a taco. So yeah, I got my original bottom surgery in March of 2022 and at first everything was great. But unfortunately that didn't last long because every surgery has risks. A lot of y'all like to pretend that transgender surgeries are the only ones that come with risks and complications. But no bitch, there's no such thing as a risk-free surgery. Three months after my surgery, I developed a very rare complication called vaginal stenosis, which is basically where a bunch of scar tissue builds up on the inside really fast. Not only is vaginal stenosis a rare complication for bottom surgery, but it's also a very painful complication. So I had my second surgery, which was a revision surgery in July of 2022 with a different surgeon. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the fact that I told my original surgeon about the complications I was having and she ghosted me. <laughs> the bitch left me all red. So that wasn't fun or cute, but luckily I found another gender affirming surgeon and one of his specialties was bottom surgery revision. So I went to him instead. And he basically went in and he cauterized the inside of my girly down there to help get rid of some of that built up tissue. And basically just try to give me some relief. Because unfortunately, the only way to get rid of severe vaginal stenosis in a trans woman is to replace the entire vaginal canal. <laughs> so that's what I did over a year later. My third surgery was over a year later, in August of 2023. So I suffered for nearly a year and a half dealing with the vaginal stenosis. Nearly a year and a half. I don't even remember a lot of shit that happened during that time in my life. Oh my God, am I traumatized? I should start going back to therapy, huh? And I know a lot of y'all are probably watching this like, oh my God, how can anyone ever get this surgery and do this to themselves? But just know that the complications I had is one of the least common complications. Anyways, August of 2023 is when I got my second revision surgery. He literally replaced the inside of my custom Cooter Cat 3000. Well, that surgery literally changed my life forever. The joy, just everything is so much better after that surgery. She was finally fully functional. I got to have some fun. <laughs> So you're probably wondering, okay, if it was all so great, why did you just get a fourth surgery? And that's because now that all my pain and everything was gone, I could finally focus on the aesthetics because it is completely normal in the world of male to female bottom surgery to first have your original surgery just to get everything in place and then go back in later for a second surgery just to polish her up a bit, you know, and get everything looking the way you want to. But I never got to do that because I had major complications. I finally got to have some aesthetic tweaks and really just get her looking how I want her to look and I'm happy so yeah after two years and four surgeries I think I can finally close this chapter in my life but yeah thanks for all the support and no I don't regret getting the surgeries even though I went through hell I am so happy and so confident and fulfilled with my body it just feels so good to look in the mirror and see a true reflection of myself and hopefully I'll get back to posting normally soon. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys don't understand that this stuff is pricey. And if you want to go to cheap route, nine times out of ten, it's going to go wrong. Lily Tony's over over here sitting over here, you know, in Disneyland, you know, talking about, oh, guess what, guys? You know, um, I talked to my doctor. So, you know, my doctor's saying that, you know, I can get my princess wand cut off. I'm going to get banned from Disney. <laughs> I swear, we're about to get banned from Disney. Last summer, I got my cake pops removed, and the plan up until recently was to get my marshmallow wand reconfigured into a marshmallow tunnel. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago, I noticed some hair regrowth on my marshmallow wand. That's bad because the outside of the wand is what becomes the inside of the tunnel, so you don't want hair growing there or else it's very uncomfortable. So I talked to my surgeon and he said that it would be best to postpone the procedure until after hair removal is complete. This is obviously disappointing because I was really excited to have a marshmallow tunnel sooner. That being said, it is still happening. We're just not sure when it's happening. Hair removal is a fickle thing and it's really hard to predict when it will finish, but my hair removal technician thinks it will be before the end of the year. So 
Fingers crossed. You doing that on purpose, and I cannot stand people that fall for that. Oh my God. Lily Tony is literally a troll. She's doing that to rage bait you guys. She's doing that just to get y'all's attention. I literally blocked Lily Tony on every single social media platform. I even blocked her on Spotify. I didn't even know she had a song, girl. I blocked her everywhere because it's like I do not want to deal with that stuff. And then the only reason why I'm making this video now is because Nunu sent me that clip of Lily Tony saying the n-word that blew me out of proportion because I didn't even watch the clip I'm gonna be for real Nunu I didn't even watch the clip you know I was just like okay girl you know um yeah that's just you know her you know I'm not gonna sit over here and you know at, you know interact with that coon but then she told me you know she was texting me and let me know what happened in the video I was like girl let me go rewatch this so then I watched it girl I gagged my mouth was dropped because you know the video is not even viral nobody's really talking about it and I feel like a lot of people People and a lot of the black community has already you know ostracized her and already said you know what deuces like we're not interacting with this content but if these people and i don't mean to offend nobody but it's these people that keep interacting with it you guys need to let it go especially the biological women cis women whatever you want to be called Please stop interacting with this person. If you don't want Lily Tony to sell for her and have a platform, you're so tired of Lily Tony's content. Stop interacting with it. You guys don't understand. If you keep interacting with people and you keep interacting and leaving comments, it's going to boost them in the algorithm. Are you slow? How, do you not know how social media works? If you keep interacting with something, you keep feeding it and giving it the attention, it's going to keep coming back for more. Okay? Just like roaches, if you leave out food, it's going to keep coming back. It's going to keep multiplying. Like, you got to stop. Exactly. Sit the fuck down. I'm not going to hold you guys. Like, I want a lot of people to understand. Don't ever get me wrong, but you, if you really don't want Lily Tony to sit over here and have a platform, stop interacting with Lily Tony. Lily Tony is the literal most controversial human being I've ever met in my life. She's so controversial and i keep saying she because it's a habit because i don't like disrespecting people's pronouns you know i'm just a respectful person i try to be at least you know i do have my real moments but i'd be telling people like girl it's not that serious and I, I i want a lot of people to understand that i blocked charlie d'amelio i blocked bryce hall i blocked donald trump i blocked all these people i don't care about these people they don't have no value in my life y'all sit here and keep getting enraged by these people if you do not like somebody and somebody is bothering you why don't you block them or move on it's not that hard it's literally not that hard a lot of people is like well you keep popping up on my for you page or well they keep popping up block not interested block not interested and sooner or later they're just gonna stop popping up altogether literally i had to go digging to find these clips that i showed y'all and then just my last final clip lily tony is so controversial for this trans women can produce milk to feed a baby what Step one, you must grow your coconuts. Pregnancy is what normally starts this process and transgender women cannot get pregnant. There are differences between biological women and transgender women, and that's okay. Also, you're just out in public with two coconuts and a full half gallon of milk, and naturally, we needed to talk about this. I've never seen a restaurant hand out coconuts and a half gallon of milk before, so clearly, just like the theme park video. After about three to five years of estrogen, you will have fully functional milk ducts. After waiting an entire three to five years, you can finally start doing it. Add a few extra hormones and supplements and pump your coconuts regularly. Oh wait, no, you need an additional supplement to produce sometimes not even enough. Is produced is healthy and can always be supplemented with formula. If this is possible, how are we able to say the milk is equally nutritious to what a biological woman produces? Are there studies to how many studies? These are very important factors when talking about this subject. I mean it when I say this. Lily Tony is not a part of the trans community. I'm sick of trans people sitting over here condoning her, you know, behavior. You are very, very immature and you are very, you know, not of age and you are not mature enough to understand what's going on. If you keep allowing this type of behavior in this trans community, people will never take us serious as trans people. People will never take us serious and people will never sit over here and respect our pronouns you guys need to understand y'all are y'all definitely play a part in you know why you know the world does not accept trans people y'all wonder why they're adding all these bills you know and you know they're trying to take away trans people's rights and y'all wondering why you know they're sitting over here getting you know mad 
and they think that every trans person sits over here and plays dressed up because of people like lily tony dylan mulvaney i'm gonna call her dylan mulvaney you know i gotta call her spade a spade but you know it's like, you know, those trans women who barely have taken the time to sit over here and really, you know, study their transition and to study themselves and to actually love themselves. They bring everything to the internet and they do so much controversial stuff just to get shock value. Girl, shut the fuck up. I ain't got to explain shit to you. It's too much going on. If you want people to respect your pronouns and you want people to respect you as trans people, stop doing stupid stuff. Okay, and this is the last thing that I'm gonna say. This is the last thing that I'm gonna say, and this is gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings. You know, I, I always say this I am a trans woman, I'm black and I'm beautiful, and I'm trans. I say that I'm black and I'm beautiful, that I'm trans is because I am black and I'm trans. I'm not a biological woman, I'm not a woman, I'm a trans woman. And a lot of people get so offended when I say I'm a trans woman, there's nothing wrong with being trans. It irritates me. And I hate when, you know, I see trans women sit over here and get so mad when somebody's calling them trans. What's wrong with being trans? Okay, you could get mad if somebody's calling you a man because, girl, that's, you know, not giving what it's supposed to be gave. That's definitely not giving what it's supposed to be gave. But you guys got to understand, and I mean it when I say this, like, you know, you had to be strong. In order for you to be strong, you had to accept where you came from. You had to accept what you were born as. I was born as a biological male, but I am transgender. I am a transgender woman. And I'm not Blair White. I'm not saying that, oh my goodness, you know, trans women are, you know, a form of men. No, 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 no. From the front is giving woman. From the back is definitely giving woman. From the side, okay, it might be giving man. And from the other side, okay, it might be giving man. But baby, I'm a trans woman, okay? Y'all gonna put some respect on my name. Y'all gonna put some respect in your own names. I mean it when I say that. I've had enough. I'm not standing for this. And I'm not respecting her no more. I've, I've had enough. I will not be mentioning her in any more videos sooner or later. Like, after a few more videos, like, I'm done. Because it's at this point, like, why are we feeding this person attention? I said what I said. I'm black. I'm trans. I'm beautiful. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell your boyfriend, tell your girlfriend, tell your brother, your sister, your mother that I'm your favorite black transsexual and I've had enough. Bye, love. Stream Nicki Minaj. Bye.